Algebra 2, 1.1b, addition of real numbers, positive and negative. So the rules for addition of real numbers, when the signs are like signs, we add the absolute values and the sum has the same sign as the add-ins. So like signs, like add-ins. If we have a positive 2 and a positive 3, our sum is going to be positive. And if we have negatives that we're adding together, we take the sign of the absolute values, 2 and 3, and we take these like signs, and that's the sign of the sum. It's just like the add-ins, see? When we have different signs, when we have unlike signs, we find their difference, and then the sum has the sign of the greater absolute value. So we have a positive 5, I'm sorry, we have a negative 5 and a positive 3. They have different signs, don't they? We're going to do the absolute value of 5 and 3. We're going to find their difference. The difference between a 5 and a 3 is a 2. And we take the sign of the larger absolute value, the 5. And that's a negative. So we have a negative 2. For this one, we have a negative 3 plus a 5. We find their difference from their between 3 and 5. The difference is a 2, isn't it? And this positive 5 has a greater absolute value, so our answer is going to have a positive. See? So to add a positive to a positive or a negative to a negative, or a positive to a negative and a negative to a positive, either way, when we have like signs, a positive to a positive and a negative to a negative, we just use the same sign as the add-ins. If they're both positive, the answer is going to be positive. If they're both negative, the answer is going to be negative. It's the different signs that causes the problem. That's where everyone gets confused. You find the difference between the two numbers and you use the sign of the larger absolute value, the one that's farther from zero. All right? And when you're dealing with decimals, we have different signs here. We have a negative 9.2 and a positive 3.1 that we're adding together. We find the difference between these two numbers, 6.1, and we use the sign of the greater absolute value. That 9 has a greater absolute value. It's farther from 0 on the number line, isn't it? And it's a negative, so our answer is going to be a negative. When we have fractions, sometimes we, we might have to find a common denominator first. So the 4 and 7 can meet at 28, and we multiplied the numerator and denominator, denominator of the negative 5 fourths by a 7 over a 7, and the 3 sevenths by a 4 over a 4 to get that common denominator. And now we see the difference between them is 23 28 We take the sign of the greater absolute value. 35 over 28 is much greater. That was a negative. So our answer is going to be a negative 23 28 See? So there actually should be a negative here, shouldn't there? All right? So you just take the one of the greater absolute value in 35 over 28 is a greater absolute value than 12 over 28, isn't it? We take that sign of the larger absolute value. All right? So our next video is 1.1c. We're going to talk about subtraction of real numbers with these negatives and positives. We're going to talk about additive inverse. And if you check this video's description, you're going to see a link to my Getting Ready for Algebra playlist. And it's a reminder to reciprocals and integers and all of that just to get your brain back in gear. And there's the link to rational and irrational numbers, number 1.1a. That was the video before this one, all right? So in this playlist, you're going to be able to check the description of the video, and there should be links to videos that will help you if you get lost or confused, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.